socialites welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Ariel I create beauty and fashion videos as well as lifestyle vlogs so make sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite so today's video is going to be a very short video on how to contour your nose so contour is a technique and makeup that is definitely not a one-size-fits-all contouring is a way to basically add a darker shade of makeup to your face to change the shape or structure to your face and so today we're going to concentrate on the nose so when you contour your nose pretty much what you want to do is make your nose either appear wider or more narrow or smaller so today we're going to contour our nose in order to look smaller or more narrow I prefer to use a cream product because cream resembles skin the most which gives you the most natural look as compared to a powder although you can still get a natural look with powder you just have to be careful with the color and pigmentation of the product but you can still get a great look out of a powder product personally I like the more natural route which is to use cream and I'm going to show you a few creams that I use to contour with. One of my go-to creams is the Huda Beauty Tantour Contour Cream. It comes in this sort of, it has this top, my front came off, <laughs> but it comes in this square like block. This is the color medium. It's really creamy, but stiff enough to where the product doesn't move around and you can get really great structure with this product. It's pretty good. I've had this for probably over a year now and it looks like I at least have six or eight more months worth of products in here. So it lasts a long time as well. I would say that this product is a little bit more on the high end side and it retails for $30 at Sephora. The next product I want to show you is a cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. It comes in this beautiful packaging here. This was one of the products that I picked up from the VIB sale from Sephora about a week and a half ago. If you guys haven't checked out that video yet, go ahead and click on that link right there. I show you guys some amazing goodies in that video. So when you open it up, this is the product here I really like it number one because of the amount of product you get in it I love the color it gives you that nice bronzy look and this product is a really really creamy so it goes on really smooth and creamy only thing I can say about this is I've contoured my nose a couple times with this and it sort of wore off but you get at least a good five hours of wear with this you definitely need to set it with the powder so it can stay in place though so this this one retails for $56 at Sephora. So next I want to show you a couple of more affordable products for those ladies that aren't quite ready or don't want to spend quite as much money on their cream contouring product. So this one is a cream to powder foundation from Nika K. Now you can pick this up at probably like Walmart. I, I usually get it from my local beauty supply store. This retails for $4.99 and this is the Nika K New York cream to powder foundation and I use the color chocolate I've been using this for many years you guys I absolutely love this for contouring the nose I may even go as far as to say this may be my favorite <laughs> contour products only because this is one of those when you apply it to the face it doesn't move because it is a cream product that dries to a powder product so you don't necessarily have to set it and it just really stays in place the color chocolate works perfectly for me um, unlike your face when you contour maybe like your cheekbones or something on you know your cheek area you definitely don't want to go as dark on the nose you kind of want to go a little bit more understated on the nose and this color chocolate works perfectly for that on me and the last cream product that I wanted to show you guys a very affordable is the elf putty bronzer now this is a newer product I think this prop this product probably hasn't even been out a year yet and this one is in the color bronzed bell it comes in a very tiny package and I think I think it retails for like five or six dollars but this one is pretty good too definitely does the trick creamy enough to glide on smooth and it stays in place so those are a few options for you guys if you were interested in finding a product to use next let's talk about the tools so there's plenty of tools you can use from your finger you can dip right into the product and go ahead and apply it where you want the product you can also use these sort of more narrow concealer brushes and because they're so sharp when you turn them to the side you can really go 
in and get that structure that way and then either tap it with your finger to blend or use like a beauty blender sponge or something like that to blend or even a fluffier eyeshadow brush but for me my go-to brush is unfortunately I don't know the name of this brush this is something that came in a set a long long time ago and it is an eyeshadow shader brush so if you could see the shape of this it's just the typical shader brush it's not too fluffy it's not too wide it's sort of a medium size um, eyeshadow shader brush and being that it is as stiff as it is not too fluffy but not super stiff to where the product goes on splotchy or uneven and I just find that this works best for me so I encourage you guys to try a, diff a couple of different tools and sort of figure out what you prefer to work with so today I'm going in with my favorite for the nose that is which is the Nika K cream to powder foundation so I'm literally just gonna go right in I like to turn the brush on both sides that way that I know that the product is gonna apply very evenly you don't want to put too much you guys because you don't want to touch it on the skin and, and it just applies too much product because using something darker than your skin tone it's really tough to get out so I like to apply on both sides and then I literally go in the back of my hand just to make sure there's not too much and any excess is gonna just sort of come off on your hand and that way we have enough products where we won't make a mess so in choosing your color make sure you get about one to two colors darker than your skin tone if you go deeper than that you guys you just have to blend a lot it's gonna take a little bit more work to blend because I want my nose to be more narrow I literally when I look in the mirror I can see like where my bone structure in my nose is right here and I want to follow those lines the more closer in that you're gonna draw two lines on your nose the closer the lines are together the more narrow your nose is gonna appear so play around with it and see which looks best on your face but because I do this every day I know that I like mine right about here and it just looks best to me on my face so I encourage you to maybe start the same place I do but when you look in the mirror if you feel like oh this is a little bit too narrow definitely the next time make sure your lines are a little further away from each other or if you feel like you want your nose to be more narrow then obviously you go in closer and make your lines closer in together so let's jump right into it and I don't like to start up here in the eye corners. I sort of like to start just right in this area. And then I do the same on this side here. You see how it's already beginning to look like a smaller nose. And then what I like to do, because I have a longer nose, I also like to go at the bottom of my nose and sort of create a line of contour here. That way it gives me the illusion of having a more lifted nose rather than this long schnoz of mine. <laughs> and it just sort of lifts it up. If you guys want that button nose effect, you can also create another line there and it will just create the illusion of this like that little cute button nose. I do that sometimes, but I won't do that today. And so once I have that shape outlines, I go back here and then I bring it up right almost into my the bottom part of my brow area because you don't want your nose contour to abruptly stop you're gonna bring it up into the bottom of your brow area and make sure you do that on both sides so you go back to where you were here and you bring it up into the just sweep it all the way over to the bottom of your brows because you definitely want to have a beginning and an ending point for your nose contour this color is so perfect for me that's why that's really one of the main reasons why it's my go-to and I don't have to set it because it's a cream and dries to a powder so now that we pretty much have our shape we want to blend um, sometimes if I use a darker color I like to blend with like a stiffer beauty blending sponge I don't want to wet it too much and I just want to tap the sides of it 
but when I'm able to use my favorite brush this one is fluffy enough to do the blending and the application so I just like to feather it down slightly on both sides and for me it just makes it look a little bit more natural because it creates this gradient of a shadow going on the sides of my nose and it just makes it a look a little bit more natural and I literally just feather it about halfway down my nose very much lightly and two if you wanted to stand out a little bit more or clean it up you could also use concealer down the bridge of your nose which is a very it's a really popular technique but you want to be real careful with that so I'm gonna take the Dior backstage concealer this was in the this one is in the color 4n and I'm literally gonna put two little dabs there and with this you want to you can use a beauty blender sponge you can use your finger you just have to be careful because you want to keep it in the middle of the lines and you don't want to disturb your contour so basically what you're doing is highlighting your bridge of your nose and if you notice it's just making it look it's it's emphasizing your contour now this is completely optional another tip if you want to make it look even more narrow and depending on if you have a much wider nose than mine another tip that I can give you guys is to go in on the side of your nose so instead of just keeping your highlight right here you're gonna go literally up onto the side of your nose and bring your concealer out so now we're, we've literally come up onto the side of the nose. You can blend with a beauty blender sponge, your finger. I'm going to use a sort of drier beauty blending sponge and just tap it right where it meets the contour color, being careful not to disturb the actual contour color because we don't want to cover it up with this concealer and it's going to make it look muddy. When you mix this light color with the dark, it will look muddy. So you're just going to meet that contour color there and just tap on the line being careful not to let it bleed over too much into the actual contour color and what this does is bring it even closer in and makes it look even more narrow and you can absolutely go in with your favorite powder let's take a little bit of this Laura Mercier translucent powder and just set literally right where that you just applied that concealer on the side of your nose and you see how that just makes your nose look even more narrow now that's optional um, I don't always like my nose to look that snatched the first way that I showed you which is on this side is typically you know the more natural way that I like to wear it but if we're going for that beat look we can snatch it like this so that's pretty much it you guys that's how you contour your nose comment down below and let me know what's your favorite product to contour with do you like to use cream do you like to use powder do you like for yours to be snatched on the sides or do you just like to go down the bridge of your nose comment down below and let me know that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you have not hit that subscribe button yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can become a socialite too Hit the like button if you learned something from this video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.